Radio Garage back on the bench. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Got a Galaxy DX33 HP2 on the bench today. And got this in from a local customer. He said that the radio uh, started melting the wires in the back as he was talking on it. Uh, he see, smelled something and he looked in the back there, looked like the, the power wire was starting to melt. Um, so he quick turned it off and now I got it. So uh, this is what I want to show you guys though before I get started on this. First off, uh, this has a seal on it. So I want to show this before I go open in the case. Okay, you can see that seal. Alright, I think you could read that. No line through that. That's okay. I'm not going to say anything about that. So, <clears throat> being that he told me that it was having a power surge problem, I have it hooked up to my variable power supply. Uh, it's a DC regulated variable power supply. I could set the voltage on it, so, um, and I could set the current. So what I do when I know I have a radio that's, you know, basically any radio that I don't know what I'm getting, I hook it up to that first. I'll set the uh, the current down low, and let's turn this on and see what happens. So I turn it on, and I look over there, and it's trying to draw. It's trying to draw. You know, I have it set to one and a half, so it's it's already hitting. It's hitting it's the the limiter on the current there, so. Um, normally idling, you know, that's pegging the that's pegging the current limiter on there. So we got something blown out in here. Um, something went something went kablooey. So gonna open it up and see what's going on. But wanted to just show you guys that first before I go breaking the seal on this thing. This is how it came to me. I haven't had you know the cover off it yet. So let's get busy here and see what's going on. Okay guys, and we're back. So first thing I did is uh, I took the cover off and I knew I was uh, drawing some, some heavy amperage. So what I like to do is uh, I look at my main transistor. So your modulator transistor over here. Um, some people call it the regulator and then you're gonna look at your finals back here your driver and your two finals so what I did was I uh, started on soldering the first final that usually worked my way I'll, I'll start from the the last final I'll do the other final and do the driver see if I could work my way over with, with uh, to try to find the, the, the faulty component so Unsoldered the first one, still there. Got to the second one, turned on my power supply, and wasn't drawing the amperage anymore. So I figured, let me hook up my uh, my peak meter here to test the MOSFET, just to make sure that that is the part. So we'll put that on there and faulty component so that confirms that that is the problem so let's get that uh, let's get that final pulled out of there and we're gonna see if uh, that solves our problems hopefully that's gonna do it and we can get on with this thing so we'll be back alright and we're back again so we got power back on full power and she's running steady on idle here got that new final in uh, I quick keyed it up it keyed up and then uh, what I wanted to do is quick check the check the voltage uh, on each of the MOSFETs to uh, see what kind of what kind of bias we had and it's way they were way way off so that's probably why that final blew um it's like they had this thing cranked up to about like five volts 
um, on the gate of each of these finals, um, including the driver. So that's just way too high, and eventually they pop. So I'm guessing that's, you know, I, I, I put them back down to spec. Um, of course, I'll find I'll fine tune them as I go here, but I just wanted to get them in the safe zone so I could do some testing. And then I did a little bit more poking around here. And let me get my pointer. Um, you can see down there, DR32 is gone. So this radio is clipped. Um, not really seeing anything else done to it. Uh, the limiters back here look good. So I'm thinking that TR32 is going to be the only thing I have to replace. Um, and then this thing should be ready to go. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll do it. Then I could get on with the full tune-up and alignment. So we'll be back. All right. Actually, before. Uh, before I go fixing that, let's actually see what it's, let's get some preliminary checks here and see what this thing's doing. Um, I got the mic gain all the way open and it's on high power. Okay. So hopefully you can see that. Got the 30 millivolt signal going into the audio box. Um, right now I'm just going to show a carrier on high. And looks like we only have about what four watts. Yeah, it's a 50 watt slug. Yeah, we got about yeah, we only got about three watts on high. I don't know why. Um, let's see, medium. What's it give me? And medium's two, and low is one. So I don't know what's going on here. We got one. One, two, and three watts for high, medium, low. Um, let's put the tone into it, guys, and see what happens. Okay. Well, that's with the tone into it. So, box cars on that. Off. Okay. On. So you could see it's clipped. We already knew that. We <coughs> we saw that. We saw that transistor. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure why they have the settings the way they do so low. Um, three watts on high, that's just that's just way too low. So let's uh, get this thing tuned up and, and aligned and get that limiter back in and we'll go from there. Okay, we're back one more time with the uh, Galaxy 33. Got her fixed up. She's ready to go. Just wanted to do a quick uh, little uh, finish up segment here. So we got TR32 back in there. <clears throat> right here all right so that's good everything's uh, everything's re enabled and working good got that final in there and we'll just quick show you on the scope now what it's doing so there it is on the scope looking good there and we will uh, put the microphone into it and we'll just see what it's doing on the bird there 50 watt slug BEP Hello four 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 So she's doing like uh, about 45 watts or so from a I think It's about an 8 watt dead key. We'll do that one more time. Four, 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 four. So yeah, she's looking really good. Came out really good. So nice, clean, uh, clean pattern on the scope. And uh, this one's ready to go back in service. Just uh, a quick little repair video. If you guys, uh, you guys are blowing fuses or something like that, you know, you might have a blown out final. So something to check out. Like I said, you know, showed you it's not real hard to uh, to get in there and, and, and diagnose and troubleshoot these sometimes. So you know, start with the main components and uh, go from there. 
This one turned out nice. Gonna button it up and uh, send it on its way. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Radio Garage, we're off the key.